Oh boy. All right, let's uh, let's get this season over with, huh? Yeah. Let's just do it. Sim through it. Deal with it. And we won. <laughs> sharks, sharks are the number one seed. Sharks, Flames, Avs, Canucks, Red Wings, Stars, Oilers, Yotes, Penguins, Rangers, Canes, Devils, Bruins, Sens, Caps, and Leafs. Um, we might as well just quickly look at our stats from this season, though. Yeah. Um. Not enough, man. I yeah, I just think we have too many similar player types that are cutting into the offense for one another. Right? Like we need it like okay, if Kessel's on a line, yeah, like he's got to be the guy. Anymore. Like we we get we got rid of little, which was the right call, but we don't have a playmaker. We have finesse right. guys and scorers. Right. It's like if Kessel's going to be on the line, he's got to be the guy. Like playing him with Kovalchuk, it's like yeah, I mean sometimes playing McDavid and Drysdale together works, but not necessarily working. Wa improved as the season went on. Yeah. So that's okay. And defenseman Petro's still looking good. Kolzig. I mean, we got defensemen that can put up points. Yeah, that helps. That's good. Uh, and then just really quick, league leaders. Turris. Jesus Christ, Kyle Terrace and Zach Parise work incredibly well together. Yeah, check their player types. Harris is a scorer. Oh, dude, if Parise is a scorer, too, though, I might be a little bit salty. What? They're both scorers? Huh. Okay. Maybe they have a play... Hold on. Maybe they have a playmaker on the left wing? Finesse. They got a finesse type I mean, on, that's the, exactly on the right with Elias. Dude, Terrace is only an 83. That's crazy. That is fucking insane. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Fuck, I went to standings. Uh, actually, well, we should check the standings, too. Um, so let's see. We were third from the bottom in the east on 76 points. We're going to be outside the top five. Yep. We'd, Pick number six. Yeah. We have some other picks. I forget who they're from, though. That's true. Yeah. Uh, and then league leaders... 49 goals for Marlo, 47 for Parise... 102 points for Marlowe. What a beast. Goalie wise, Backstrom of the league leading 929, but 12 shutouts for Flurry, 11 for Ward. Good lord. That is insane. Uh, and for the rookies, Michael Repic. And Lupul was up there, though. Yeah, Michael Repic. All right, let's see who wins in the postseason, and then we'll get to. Uh, an interesting offseason for us. Yeah, I guess we can fight around. Sharks Yay. over Flames. Canucks advance. Edmonton, Detroit. Pittsburgh, Toronto. Boston, New Jersey. God damn it. <laughs> Canucks and Red Wings. <laughs> Penguins and Devil. <laughs> this, is, this is true Sharks, baby. Oh, my God. Vancouver might go back to back. Canucks and Penguins. They the Vancouver back -back. Canucks. Back to back game seven well, cup finals wins. We kind of did part of our thing. We got the Sedin's Cups, just not with us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> God damn it. Penguins have won the President's Trophy, too. Con Smythe, second year in a row to Roberto Luongo. Hart Trophy to Malkin. Vesna to Flurry. The Bing to Terrace. The Calder to Repic. Norris to Zidane Ochar. Selkie to Ryan Kessler. That makes a hell of a lot more sense than Obi. Uh, and the Ted Lindsay to Malkin, Art Ross to Kyle Terrace, Rocket Richard to Patty Marlowe, and the Greg Jennings. Cam Ward. Retirements. Dwayne Rollison, Oldy Colzig, Kevin Weeks, NHL fans, saying goodbye. Uh, defenseman Lilia, Daryl Sador. Jesus, Daryl Sador was still in the fucking database? <laughs> Ah, oh, Rod the Bod. Finally. Hey, Fedorov, Nylander. I love how fucking long these guys hold on. You know, hold on. That's crazy. Brindamore at 42. Still doesn't match age Chelios shows. at age 50, though. <laughs> That's amazing, yeah. All right, player progression. We need some good fucking news here. That's some good news. Yes. Goaltending set. Juan Thompson. Yep. Absolutely set. That's awesome. Uh, defense. Ooh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's go. Plus four for Kolzig. Bogo got better. 
Rendier, Joseph. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Next year's our time. Yeah, it's our time. Has to Next be. year's our time. It's got to be. Forwards, come on. Left wing. Whoa. Plus five for Huang. That's huge. Kovalchuk got better. Masanin got better. Clemenson. Got better. That's huge. Biz! <laughs> He's still going. Dude, the amount of plus fours. John Bonvi Bonchi. <laughs> 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 At center, Kessel got better. Flurry came with a plus plus six for Marion Bondra. Holy shit! God damn. Okay. Kobe Bryant, forty points. That 40 was Bondra. <laughs> What's his potential? Uh, ninety-one. We drafted him last year. Ah, uh, oh, that's a playmaker. He had he had that lower overall, but a big potential, yeah. and clearly it worked out. Right side. Oh my god, Rad plus Jamal. four, dude. Peter Callis. Holy shit. Holy shit. Peros up to an eighty-eight. Okay, if we can get now that we know, like, okay, these are our pieces that we can choose from. We got to stick with what stars we want, and then we got to treat this like twenty-four. We need defensive options and grinders on that fucking fourth line. Yeah, let our stars carry the weight. We can't Maple Leafs this anymore. No. <laughs> All right, uh, we don't have a pick until sixth over. Holy fuck! Wow, eighty-one overall what? goalie. All right, who's available here? Uh-oh. Not much. Okay, this isn't going to be a big draft for us unless there's good potential. Meet Wob, what's up, by the way? Whoa. Uh, all right, let's look at the top three. Overall-wise. Globkey. Yell is a two-way. And Bork's a utility. Maybe get him for trade uh, value at this point? Yeah, honestly. I'm good with just taking the best guy available potential wise yeah. and just kind of breezing through. Oh, back to back picks. Look at that. Perfect. Yeah. I don't think there's too much Porter to really debate Yale. about Let's in this see. draft. Either one, really. Take Yale. Yeah. I'll look at potential, and if we have a tie, the highest rated uh, overall gets it. We'll just breeze through this draft as quick as we can. Wow, he's still available. Look at the first we had again. Honestly, it turned into a good little draft for us yeah. in terms of uh, some of the quality we were able to get. So. I don't know uh, how many mid-round picks or late-round picks we have. This one Boston team's going to the conference final. Hey, where's your faith? 60 overall for Pillman. All right. So, yeah, if we can make the right choices here of who stays, who goes, build this fucking team up proper. Kuma. It's not the Kuma. Jim Kuma. Kuma. We got, I mean, basically, whoever the hell we draft here, we're not going to sign anyway because yeah. they're fucking terrible. Bergenheim. We got, we got, we got 63 for Patalny. And there we go. Contract negotiations. Please don't have too much to do. Okay, was an RFA. Yep. How much do you want? A bit. <sighs> I'm going to back out of signing him for the moment just until we know what else we have to do. Cronwall had no potential. We can just let him go. Yeah. Bergenheim, we drafted. We can let him go. This is a big Fuck. one. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh huh. Jesus Christ. Okay. Peros, Kolzig, who is our top priority here? Ugh. I mean, the good thing is that they're technically RFAs. I don't know how this factors in an RFA system, though. Me neither. It's got to be Peros in that 97 potential. Yeah. I know he's disappointed, but... Let's just see how, um, how low we can get it with the years. That's the plan, yeah. Okay. Ten years is where he caps out. Let's, yeah, offer offer him as low as possible. Yeah, just keep bumping it up little by little. Jesus. Okay. Five mil's not horrible. Five mil. It is when it's showing us with no fucking cap after signing Kolzig, though. 
we got to risk Wa, right? Sign Kolzig, risk Wa because we have the other goalie. Yeah, it's just we we don't know if we'll have anyone to play next season. Yeah, we'll probably. Have well, the to- other goalie was at least an eighty. So yeah, it's just he won't sim well. I it is what it is though. Yeah, we got to go Kolzig. And this guy was the the one to build around defensively. Okay, 10, 10 mils the limit again. Oh, come on, Kolzig. There you go. Fuck. Uh, Benoit Pouliot, you're gone. Yeah, probably he's a third liner. He's got to be gone. Jesus Christ, the money dries up so fucking fast. That was showing us 14 million under. What? Um, I'm just going to try to sign Wa, and if it'll let me sign Wa, then I'll I'll do it. Right? Even though it's going to show us as being over the cap, I just want to see what the deal is. Eight years, am I allowed to sign you to this? It's going to let me sign players, so I'm going to sign them, and then we'll just fucking try to dig ourselves out of it afterwards. Yeah, Leaf in it. Yep. Get people sign. It's not quite... Le- well, it is Leaf in it, but it's not Leaf in it, but it is Leaf in it. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, I'm going for the RFAs first, yeah. just to, you know, do what the hell I can here. Okay, eight years is the limit for him. Uh, Lupul. Jesus Christ. Why do you want that much? Years. Oh, that's pretty cheap, actually. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy Joseph. Drop that down. Eight years. Whoops. <sighs> All right. Just keep fucking signing these goddamn guys, and I I don't know how this is gonna work out. This might end up being a disaster. Yeah. But uh Do we have a save before this or no? I think it auto saves. Okay. So I don't want to alarm you, but there is a chance this could <laughs> end up being that like Ilya Kovalchuk has to be waived or something. <laughs> we'll see. Uh close seventy five potential can let go of him. Lobkey had that 89. Sign him to his ELC. Um, I'm going to try to fucking keep Pouliot if I can. Yeah, eight years. Obviously, we're not keeping him for all of it. Okay, and then from here, it's potential. Anybody over an 80 is a must. What's my uh, cutoff here? 75? Bork, maybe. I think, or... What was that? Bork is, like, the last guy, maybe. I don't know. What's that? Olsen Center is 57 overall, though. Like, 78 potential? I don't know, man. I'm all right with not signing the guy. Yeah. 75 for Chloe. He's a 67 at 20. I'm good with letting all these guys go. Yep, me too. Okay. Uh, free agency, skip signing. Okay. Uh, it's not the biggest free agent class anyway, so there's no temptation. Nope. Um, I will, for shits and giggles, look for any like potential steals that may have hit the market, but... That's goalies only. Yes. 17 years old, 59, 83? Mm. Oh, 83. I mean, maybe for trade bait, but yeah. Defense. I'm just worried that it's going to get to the point where we can't trade yet. Remember, we can't trade in free agency. Yeah, I know. It's uh, scary. I'd say no. We have like three goalies at 85 plus potential. All right. We'll just let everybody go then. And yeah. uh, it is what it is. Yeah, I mean, 84 is like the highest potential that's out there. All right. Yeah, let's just advance there. I'm not really worried about checking to see where anyone ends up. It's like, oh, where's like 45 year old Scott Niedermeyer going to go? I don't care. So, advance to finalize rosters. Uh huh. <laughs> All right, you two start in the minors. Uh, holy fuck. 
I will do what I can. Even if we have to get to this finalized stage by technically having like our worst players on the roster, then it is what it is. Four. Top flurry down to the miners. One, two, three, four. And then right side. One, two. Call up Mahachek. Call up Krazan. How do we have too many forwards? Oh, all the centers. I missed them. That's how. Okay. Uh, we just got to sign some shit ass goalie. Richmond. Rich what? Richmond. Grant Richmond. Uh, goalies. Miners. Call up Richmond. Finalize roster. Is what it is. Okay. I think we made it to this screen. Yeah. That's the important part. We can trade from here. <laughs> oh, God. I will okay. Be right back. Well, I'm going to kind of see what we got going on. Um, Jesus. That is too much money to too many defensemen. We can't afford to keep that going. No, we can't. It's over, dude. We all got the money. I should have taken the money. Like Scoob, we're kind of fucked, boy. <laughs> Zoink. Zoink, Scoob. We're at uh, Curry Cup. <laughs> <laughs> Can I hear a, yeah, we're fucked in a Scooby-Doo voice? Yeah, we're fucked, Raggy. <laughs> okay, you ready for some tough decisions, gentlemen? Sure. Yeah. Defense. Bogosian's got to go. Really? We'll go for Norris. Dude, financially, we're fucked. Oh, okay. We can only keep two of these guys. It's got to be Bogo that goes. Um, yeah. The other two have higher potentials. The other two have uh, potentials both at least a 90. And they're longer term, yeah. Bogo's got to go. Okay. Like, it's just, it is what it is. Um, I mean, we could we we can try to keep them, but it's just because of the cap situation. Yeah, we like we gotta be. I can't even tell. Uh, low. Again, I had to put like these. Again, all these guys are listed in the minors, so I could make sure we were compliant. Oh. Um, odds are he has to go. But in terms of the forwards, Pouliot's got to go. Yep, that's that's fine. Right, like yeah. Raymond stays, Pouliot's out. Yeah. Um. Honestly. BJ Huang is a top six player. Get him in here. In terms of player type, I think it's it's Raymond or Huang. Huang has an 87 potential. Raymond's 28 and expensive. I might be wrong. I get Mason Raymond's a sick player, but I think Kovalchuk and Huang in the top six in terms of player types. Yeah, you know? But that doesn't help us. Huang can play I third disagree. line on that, on that cap. I don't think we want a finesse player on the third line, but though. Then why, that hasn't been working. Why do we have Pooley out there? Because because that wasn't working either, and now we're getting rid of him. Like, the thought is, what one of these three can be the second line left wing. The third line left wing needs to be someone defensively responsible, a two-way or a utility what that we we're going to acquire. Okay. Right? I thought we were in agreement on well, that. Like, we need a more well-rounded team. Play Wang in the minors. He's too good to be in the he's minors. He's one overall. But he, my, my point he's too is good to be in the he's minors. He's on, on the same expiring deal as Raymond. Yes, but Raymond is. Out once Raymond's off contract. I just, I don't know if that's the best for Wang's potential is to be in the minors, though. Might be. I don't know. I mean, what's his potential? 87. At 19 years old, he's an 81. Yeah, so right. you're in the minors. Won't hurt him that much. 81. Try it. Or we can but play then we're the third rid of Raymond. line. Like, uh, we can have I don't a want, skill guy on the third line. I, I just don't think it's worth it because it hasn't been working. Well, we also I mean, I know technically it's like we... Mm. Like, I mean, I, I think we were getting fucking shelled defensively, too. 
True. Not just because of goaltending, but because we got a bunch of skill players out there who can't play defense. You know? Like Wong's defensive awareness is a 54. His hustle, the cur like that's he he's top six or bust. It's like it's like playing freaking Brandon Peary on the third line and being like, ah, it might be okay. It's like, yeah, he's not gonna right. get the shine. Well, what what do we got elsewhere? Like center wise, what are we looking at? And well, we have Helm and Kane, which is perfect. That's really perfect, yeah. Two way utility, like honestly, that second line's per or the, the center position, perfect, yeah. What's I don't right think like we have to change anything there. Unless we were worried about Kessel's cap it, in which case I could try to find a scorer who's a little bit cheaper. You know? Yeah. What's uh, right wing? Right wing needs a lot of change too. You know? Like we have Peros, Kessel, Kovalchuk, which in theory works, and then Radula, Flurry, you know, two finesses and a score. That's okay. Um I'm still worried about Kovalchuk and Kessel. Honestly, I'm not against the idea of trading Kessel for like an elite power forward center. I honestly Davinsky. Yeah, I wouldn't just to mind get, it either. Because Kessel Kovalchuk just does not seem to work. You know? Yeah. But yeah, then it's like Peter Callis. Yeah, he's he's gotta go just because he doesn't fit. We could do we could try, because Bourne's a scorer, Wong's finesse and Helm's a two way. We could try that as the third line. You know, finesse two way score. Yeah, we could try that if you want to. That's what I'm um, thinking. Pouliot's got to go. Pouliot still has to go at the very least. Yeah. Like that, we know. Um, and again, we need. Um, uh, unless we wanted to still run Biz on the fourth line, like we need. Uh, a utility or a two way fourth line left wing that's cheap. Yeah. So let's see. What the hell's out there? Chris Higgins, maybe not as cheap as we'd want. Dan Carcillo. <laughs> That's a better enforcer than is. Chimera. Chimera. Ah, it's too expensive. Uh, yeah, we'll look for under a million. Honestly, right now, Carcillo's leading. Yeah, 100%. Uh, Brad Winchester? Uh, Utility? Oh, yeah. Uh, nobody there that compares. Brian Bickle is a power forward, more offensive though. No. Uh, Lori Korpikoski utility. That's not too bad. Yeah, it depends on if we want a utility or an enforcer, but that's not bad. Um, Serge Davison doesn't count. Nobody there counts. That's for sure. Uh, Billy Lano, too Billy Bano. Or yeah. Uh, Ruslan Fedotenko is old. <laughs> not as good. Not as good. Ben Eager. <laughs> I mean, Carcillo is about the same yeah. and younger. So. Uh, I think. <laughs> Ooh. If he's going to be an asshole, let him be our asshole. It's a lot of years for a 33-year-old, but... Schubert! <laughs> shooby dooby doo Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Uh, oh, 72. Sorry. I saw the low-cap hit in utility, and I got excited. Yeah, that's okay. Um, Finesse. Damn. That guy was... A he was a first overall pick. Yeah. Eight, I think. 88 potential. 76, Travis Mullen. For fourth line, it might have to be Carcillo. Rose went to the Leafs. What a dickhead. Pascal Dupuy. It's your spot. You thinking Carcillo? Probably. Just because it's three years at under a mil. That's fair. Um, first rounder in Carcillo for Benoit Pouliot. Yeah. Yep. Third day yep. out of the third. Shed right, cool. cap. Yep. All right. So left wing side. Still a little bit nervous about a lack of two ways, but we can try it. And if it's not working, we can try to adjust. Yep. Does that sound fair? Okay. So uh left wing side looks okay. Kessel we need we need a power forward. We just Yeah, we need to find a, a I love cheap, Phil Kessel. I love but, him too, but it's too expensive for us. Yeah, like we need a power oh, forward. I got really excited seeing Flurry. I'm like, what a contract. <laughs> God, Bergeron's a finesse, not a two way. 
Playmaker or... also wouldn't be bad because we don't have one of those. Ah, eight mils for Jesus. Eric Stahl. Playmaker. Yeah, you're right. Maybe an outright Playmaker wouldn't be the worst. Dubinsky. So <laughs> cheap, but it's just the overall's a bit low. I agree. Ooh. Ooh. Richards. Dots, dude, Dotsuk's making the same amount. Okay, <laughs> but also he's 35. Oh, 33. Gosh, never mind. 33. Yeah. Uh, Nathan Horton. One year, though. Only one year. He's going to need enough. He's going to need money. Yeah, he's probably going to want more than that, yeah. right? Uh, Playmakers. Travis Zajac. It's all right. Seven. Uh, you know, he's cheaper than Kessel. He is. And he is a two way. But. He is cheaper that's than shut Kessel. Shut down center. <laughs> sure is. Good face offs. He could still probably produce. We can't check his stats for Mire. What do you mean? Like, I. Oh, 62. Ooh. Yeah, you can. Uh, that's not too bad, depending on who he was playing with last year. Um. See, the idea of a playmaker is is good, but at the same time, it scares me a little bit because we are keeping some skill on the third line. Yeah. <laughs> Pavelski. It's a good contract. I mean, maybe a playmaker would work, but you'd think like a finesse is in between of a sniper and a playmaker. Yeah, but the, our right wing you know? side is finesse top line. Right. I, yeah, exactly. So, so finesse score, it's um, got to be like playmaker or two-way or power forward. Right. Um, One year. It doesn't work for us. Let's see. Playmaker David Krejci. Whoa. Four years at th at under four? E, that's tough to beat as an 89 overall. Yeah, All well, right. So that's Richards our new kind of limit. Stall's too expensive. Krejci's contract was better than Stashney's. Mm -hmm. Dubinsky, not good enough. Power forward would be nice. I just don't see it working. Krejci was Better. cheaper than Richards and with an extra year. Mm -hmm. uh, Horton again would need a contract. Kopitar is about the same price yeah. as uh, as Kessel. I feel like an eighty nine, ninety three. We already have a ninety on the line, you know. Right. Um. Koivu is a little bit cheaper, but has one less year. Yeah. Than Krejci. I like the year. Uh, let's see. It looks like it's Krejci or Richards. Yeah, it has to be. Like, Krejci, if we want to save a shit ton more money, which we might need to do, Richards, if we want, like, that defensive presence on the top line. Yeah, I know she's a finesse, not a playmaker, so I kind of rules them out. Stamkos gets paid way too fucking much. Mm -hmm. uh, Pavs isn't what bad was either. Krejci was an 89. Was, dude, Ryan Kessler, holy shit. Holy fuck. shit! I didn't even notice how much cheaper he was compared to Richards. Oh, boy. Okay, hold on. Pavelski's 4.6 for four years. Krejci, okay, so it's Krejci as a playmaker, or it's Kessler as a two-way. Kessler. I would, I'm thinking Kessler. I would probably lean that way. Yeah, I think... You know, we need that bit of an extra defensive influence. They've won back-to-back -back cups with them. Yeah. I think we're uh, we're missing a bit of that. Okay, they just outright declined that yeah. with a first-round pick involved. Uh, what about a second just to safety net it? Oh, man, they might not want to trade go through, Yeah, what if they, will they go straight up? Ooh. No, we're going to have to add. I mean, we got tons of picks. Throw in a second or a third. No, we don't have a third. Try a third next year, dude. They're not even willing to counter offer right now. Um, also, uh, in terms of goaltending, <laughs> that's we could keep Wah for the year, but then I think next year Thompson has to take over. 
You know, maybe we'll just see. because Thompson's contract will be up. And again, he's got that 99 potential. He's going to be such a beast. Yeah, such a beast. Um, fuck it. That second rounder. There it is. Okay. It. Kessel in a second for Kessler. Right, I'm, I'm good with it. Yeah. The, the cap savings it. we just got is massive. So two way finesse, two way, the utility that works that right hand side. Callus has well. Callus could stay with Wong. Yeah. If we have no been. Born, we need Born as a score on that third line. Yeah, because Huang. Otherwise, finesse. it would be yeah, Huang's finesse. It'd be finesse to it. So Callus has to go. Yeah. You can just send him out. And then like Mahachek can be on the fourth line as a utility for now. Yeah. Oh, seven Let's years. Seven hundred k. That's pretty good. I mean, he's only seventy five, right? but hey. <laughs> All right, Peter Kalus. Uh, I'll send you back to Boston because that's where the fuck you came from. <laughs> I mean, we don't need him anymore. We don't. Yeah. Why biz though? Because he's, he's a go, Bruin. He's gonna go foul. Because he's a Leafs fan, story. and that's funny. Yeah, we'll <laughs> torture him. Okay, so it's looking much better. Mm -hmm. Finesse, finesse, score, score, two way, another finesse centerman, which eh. Honestly, Flurry's an eight. Hold on, I have an idea. So finesse score. What if we get a playmaker for the second line instead of Flurry? Contract's not bad, but he does only have eighty-five potential. I kind of want to just try him a little bit before we give up. But I, do too. I don't know. I do too, but I'm kind of scared because of that Krejci contract, right? Like, hold on, how much was uh? I mean, he's already made, dude. He's already making three million. That's what Krejci's making. Yeah, I, I'm gonna go with my gut on this one. I mean, adding Krejci and Kessler instead of just choosing. Okay, well, we're not doing that. Yeah, get rid of those two. Try it straight up. See what they say. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my god, <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> What the fuck was that? Second rounder? Yep. And a seven. Done. So left side, Kovalchuk as a score, Kessler as a two-way, Peros as a finesse, Raymond as a score, Krejci as a playmaker, Radulov as a finesse, Wong as a finesse, two-way helm, score born, enforcer Carcillo, utility Kane, utility Mahachek. I say that looks pretty fucking good. That balance looks pretty damn good. The only thing, and it would probably be nitpicking, I think another two-way instead of a utility might be better. But, you know, that's yeah. do we really want to sit here and try to find one? Like, no. we can if it's not working. Yeah. Um. Let me put the team together, and then we'll see what the hell our defense looks like. Because um, I still don't even... We'll see how much fucking cap space we have because I still haven't technically called everybody up. Uh, so, yeah. Our uh, goalie prospect factory is down to two. Defense. Boy, I hope we have the cap space for this. This is going to be interesting. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Remember when I said Bogosian might have to go? Yeah, he still might have to. Yeah. Okay, we need two more defensemen called up. That's Lupul and Joseph, just because he's older than Brennier. Left wing is Kovalchuk, Raymond Wong, Carcillo, Masanin can go back down, Clemenson can go down, Kessler, Krejci, Helm, Kane, Bondra can go down, Peros, Radulov. Holy fuck, we're 8 million over. How the fuck? 9 man? point. <sighs> okay. Um, I think it's Bogosian and Wah. I hate to say it. But, but, but then we don't have a goalie. We're, we're not we going to sim well. An 80. We're just not going to sim well. I know, but who else do we trade, man? We got to get rid of people. We don't have the cap. It's, it's not like I want to get rid of them. Kovalchuk? Fuck him. He's making six mil. I don't know, though. It's tough. 
He's, he's been making six mil and scoring like shit. But then again, to be fair, fucking Peros hasn't scored shit either. Well, uh, there's a better score for cheaper. Left wing, high value score. If only Milan Lucic wasn't a douche, we could yeah. maybe go that direction. Uh, Vanek's making too much. Nope. Nash is about the same amount. Erickson's cheaper. I mean, cheaper. it's a down, it's a downgrade, but he is significantly cheaper. Zetterberg's a little bit cheaper, but a two-way. Uh, Dustin Brown, but only a year after this. Jesus Christ, Minnesota's best left wingers and enforcer. <laughs> uh, Camilleri's expensive. Parise is technically a discount, but not by much. Yeah, not by much. Uh, Marco Stern. Heater's about the same, if not more expensive. Uh, Ryan Klo is a power forward. about half the cost. Gagne is two million off. Sedin's about the same. <laughs> OVS obviously more expensive. Who was the only guy that we called out? Erickson, right? Yeah. Cut about one point five two million. Uh, let's save three. Oh yeah, two million. Oh yeah. 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 I, that's a tough pill to swallow, but he did have 91 points last year. Yeah. Decent speed, good shot accuracy, good passing. He's solid defensively with 91 poke check, 80 defensive and awareness. 92 discipline. He'll stay out of the fucking box. <laughs> there you go. Shoots a lot. Yeah, decent shooting tendency. <sighs> it sounds crazy, but... Uh. <laughs> it's it's Koval Chuck or it's the goalie. <laughs> yeah, it, ha it has. It, is. Then it, it has to be cool, but then we still have to like shed Bogosian too. Oh yeah, but this gets us closer, I guess. Yeah. Oh shit, that's right. We'd still be over the cap because I didn't send people down. Shit. Uh. Okay. Well, I got to do what I can for the moment to not. Fucking lose anybody. God damn it. Fucking one way contracts. Ugh. Forgot the fucking season had started when I called people back up to see what we were at. That'd be enough because once we shed the money, I think. Fucking Christ. Uh. Minor leagues. Call you up. Defense. This is insane. Pablo, what's up, by the way? Okay, now if we trade. Oval Chuck. Louis Erickson. Honestly, if they have the fucking cap space. Bogosian, too, yeah. Yeah, and they do have the space to do it. That really sucks having to shed Bogosian. I agree. Uh, it still shows us as over the fucking caps. So I don't know if it's going to let me do this or not, but Louis Erickson in two firsts for Zach Bogosian and Ilya Kovalchuk. It's done. Yep. <sighs> okay. Financially, can we actually afford now to ice this team? It is way more fucking difficult to balance a team on this game than I remember. Yeah, caps are kind of out of control. <laughs> Just got to be like really fucking selective. Obviously, the defense is not going to be looking as pretty. Oh, fuck. I don't get it. I think I know what direction this is going. Ow! Like, Do we somehow are we further under than we just were before that trade? I don't understand how. How the fuck? What? How are we 
four million over. You were nine over before? Well, fuck's sake. You were four million over still. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> this sucks. Fuck. I know we didn't get rid of the tendy. We're trying not to get rid of the fucking goaltender. We're just like Holy spending shit. so little. I don't get it. I guess we're trying to. I mean, we do have two, four, nearly $5 million defenders. <clears throat> oh, man. Hmm. Obviously, now at this point, like, Jesus Christ. So we're four over. How many, like, mi do minors players count against the cap? <laughs> like, how Double much, check. How many can we just fucking cut? <laughs> uh, defense, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, Who's that Rafalski guy making 1.2 mil? Holy shit. Oh. Well, let's get rid of him. Is he, like, him for potential anything? or something? He must be. He, 83 potential. Oh, I mean, that. yeah, he was... Uh, Round pick. Goover, you want to give us a first? We would exceed the salary. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is. I don't know what the fuck happened. All right, hold on, hold on. We'll just release Rafalski. He'll get put on waivers. He clears you have. <laughs> no, oh. no. Okay. All right, so we know Rafalski has to go, right? Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So we know Rafalski's going. We mark down Rafalski. We're going to solve this fucking puzzle. Don't worry. Um, two, three, four. Okay, hold on. Who's, uh, who's shit here? All right, you, Reddix, you're gone. And Bon Bon Biovi. That's not freeing up anything. Didn't? No. It okay. has to be the, on the roster. <laughs> I don't know how we're spending that much on the players that we have. I really don't. I think we gave someone too much money. Two, three, four. <sighs> okay. So. In terms of the money. Okay, hold on. Let me double check with the defense here. Greg, they're in the minors. They don't, they don't count towards the... I know. But I'm also not just looking at only players that are in the minors. Oh, we okay. get rid of Lupul. Oh, okay. Sorry. We get rid of Lupul. Because he's not going to get that much better anyway. He's not really any better than Brennier, who is good. Joseph doesn't really have a potential. We can save a little bit of money there. But the problem is, it's not going to let me fucking make this trade until I send people down. So oh, hold on. Okay. Send you down. Send you down. 400k. Where the hell is on a two-way that I can send down that's making money porn? There we go. And, oh, well, yeah, except we don't really have a fucking roster at the moment. That's the problem. But now I can actually fucking make trades. <sighs> Sin doesn't want to trade wa, wa. I understand why. Five million right now. That's fucking costly, so we got to get rid of some other... Options if we're not getting rid of him. I feel like 1.72 is probably too much money to be paying to a third pair guy, although you could argue he's a second pair guy for yeah, us. Yeah, he is. <laughs> like, because we have no one else. Probably loophole. Like, that's way too much for an offense and defenseman who's 77. 
I agree. And again, he doesn't have a good potential at this stage. Um, so Lupel's on the list. Brendier had a good potential. Joseph did not, so he can go too. Uh, that guy's only a 76. Rafalski's got to go. Yeah. All right, where the fuck can we dump these guys? Let's talk to St. Louis. Maybe we're just, maybe that's what it is, is we're just spending a little bit too much money here and there, and it's just really adding up. Yeah. Okay, there's nothing hiding behind that fourth round pick. So two first round pick from the Blues for a bunch of nothing. We'll take that. Okay, so then our defense, we end up calling up this guy. We are going to have to sign We don't have the goalies Somebody. Yet. Or did we send, yeah, the goalies are still down. The goalies are still in the minors. I'm just saying, like, defensively, we're going to have to fucking sign somebody to actually play on the third pair. Yeah. To find a rental. Um, or find a rental that's relatively cheap, yeah. Uh, must have, oh, shit, well. Uh, let me sign two dudes that absolutely suck. Matt Murray. And Matt Murray. If you need a player that sucks, sign. Well, you know what? If that guy's gonna ask for that fucking much, um, then how much is John Scott asking for? Yeah, about the same. So let's just fucking sign John Scott, and then one other defender. Tyson Strachan. That's fine. Whoops. Yes, I would like to sign him. Okay, so we got Scott. We got Strachan. Got our defense. And a Thrashers. Three, four, five, six. Send down Strachan. Send down Christian. 1.2 million available. Still don't have enough to be able to call up our goalies, though. <laughs> That's so crazy. So defensively, right now what we're looking at <clears throat> is potentially having to choose between Cole Zig and Petrangelo. Mm, that sucks. <laughs> yes, it does. Holy hell. But that's the system that we're having to play within. Can't change the forwards at all. Well, that, that's why I'm saying potentially. Like, left wing side. So cheap. Not in this reality, though. And not, the cap's like 40-something million. <laughs> That's the problem. It's cheap to 2024 eyes, but not yeah, in this I reality. Um, I mean, the Mason Raymond pickup is a good one, but at the same time, if we could get cheaper there, might not be the worst. Same thing with, like, Krejci. Like, it's a good idea, but... That Radulov contract's a steal. The Paro steal is a little bit more pricey. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, how can we possibly trade him, right? Like, he's going to be... He should at least end up being one of the best players in the fucking game. Like offensively, outside of his passing, the fucking attributes are already there. <sighs> Unless he just doesn't shoot the puck and that kind of ruins him. Which would be like the old shot pass slider in the way that used to work yeah. in EA. So, options. Trade Wa. Trade Petro, because the contract is shorter. And then obviously try to you know, spend a little bit more here and there. <sighs> Try to find slightly cheaper options than Raymond. Or, I mean, God, does Radulov have to go? That makes no because sense. Like, he's making two mil. He's essentially a four mil player in 24. I know, but and I'm not saying he's not worth keeping because he absolutely is. But that Peros five mil, that's that's. In this reality, hold on, let's see. It's going to be like 10 mil in real life because the cap's around 84. Right. What is... Oh, hold on. Cap is 42. About. Right. So, I mean, even like a basic percentage calendar. Um, 
let's see, five is what percent of 42? That's 12% of the cap. Yeah. 12% of the cap is what Peros is taking up right now. Yeah. Um, in terms of an equivalent, if we bring that to Toronto Maple Leafs territory, uh, 12% of the cap is uh, just slightly below Mitch Marner territory. <laughs> That's how we have to view that contract. He is, in this reality, Mitch Marner. Yeah. Fuck. $5 million contract is 12% of the cap. That's fucking nuts. So then seeing it that way, it makes more sense. And now it's starting to make more sense as to why... Uh, as to why Atlanta's difficult. Because if I'm not mistaken, this is just like what the game is. Like we chose Atlanta, who do not have as much money oh. as these other teams. Oh. Yeah, so look, our budget's 42, Buffalo's is 53. It's because we're Atlanta. Wow. Boston has a $55 million budget. Oh, that's bullshit. We, we're we playing on hard mode by picking the Thrashers who have an internal budget. <laughs> that's fucking, no fucking wonder this doesn't make sense. Canucks have $56 million. The Leafs have 56.8. Each team has their own different budget that's independent from what the actual salary cap is. That sucks. If you got a team budget, can you change it at all? Uh, oh, it wouldn't be the home screen. GM, team budget. We maxed out? I mean, yeah, we're right up against it. Available funds, top 10 salaries, home arena, spending... That that's what it is though. Is that we unknowingly picked a team. Forty four million, hold on, forty two. Is there anybody lower than forty two? No. We are in that bottom tier bracket of a forty two million dollar budget alongside Florida, Nashville. I mean Christ the Coyotes technically have a little bit more than the St. Louis, Tampa. And I don't know if the budget can go up or not. It might, depending on playoff success, or we might just be stuck with that. Because really it's like, well, that's what your owner wants to pay. So, on one hand, it sucks. But on another, it is kind of realistic to the Thrashers, where the owners didn't want to fucking spend money. It's just an unforeseen complication for us. <sighs> I think we can make it work. We just have to be very fucking shrewd. And again, that's the extra challenge of it, right? Is we're going to have to make some, we got to, we're money balling. We were trying to leafs it earlier. We can't leafs it. We have to money ball this uh, son of a bitch. This is not as fun now. <sighs> I think we can make it work. Yeah. I guess, but. Well, the alternative is to start over with a different team. Yeah, that's the alternative is to start so over with a different team. That's a budget. We're like five seasons deep now. We have to. Correct. I think we can make it work. Like I said, we just have to be really shrewd in our decision making and in terms of like, okay, we're a small market team and a, <laughs> technically in a big market, but. We do have that extra restriction upon us here. I, I think we can make it work. It's just whether or not we're collectively up for the challenge. But oh man, I think we can do it. We have to be Hold smarter on. about RFAs in the future. Like at least we should have like saved and test if you can lowball them. Like just wait them out. Yeah, we're gonna ha we're gonna have to do that starting next year, one hundred percent. Yeah, like Florida's highest paid guy, they got a couple of four millions, like we do. And then, yeah, I mean, like their quality fucking dips off a cliff right now, you know. I just I got I got work tomorrow. It is three fifty in the morning. I gotta call it. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. 
Peace. Bye.